Finally, I would like to discuss a couple uh, other variables, especially to point how those can be different. So for example, very interesting variable is capsule, uh, capsule update variable. Those are capsule with the, with the number or capsule max variables. Those variables contain reports related to capsule update a mechanism which is used for UFI uh, firmware update. As, and as, as we can see, the structures are completely different. I don't want to go in, into details with that. Uh, that's not the point here. If you want to read more about capsule update, there are headers in EDK2 source code, uh, which can explain way more. Other potential UFI variable can be platform specific variable, which we found in, in various implementation like platform CPU info, which this variable uh, contain quite a lot of information which are returned by CPU ID command. This can be useful just to avoid calling again and again a CPU ID assembly. Um, and as we can see, uh, it was integrated in, in EDK2 in Alt3 for, for some specific uh, hardware target, Valerview, um, ha Intel hardware platform. The point here is to avoid calling CPU ID again and again, and to reuse that variable during the boot process for making deci various decisions about uh, loading drivers, and, and behavior that should be, and passing parameters to those drivers and behavior that should be enforced during the boot process. Finally, uh, we can talk about uh, con in, con out, con air, console related variables, which we already mentioned. Uh, those are uh, mostly created out of e EFI device path protocol structures. We just point to the device, uh, for example, serial output or display, uh, where the characters or where the output uh, should be should be sent. There are also con in dev, con out dev, and con error dev uh, volatile uh, volatile volatile variables, which just describe actual choice uh, of the device, which is used for input, for out output, or for error printing. Uh, those variables which we described in in this and previous sections are just examples. Many variables are platform implementation specific, and uh, it is always good practice for firmware developers, firmware researchers, security researchers to just uh, simply check uh, your using your preferred method uh, what kind of variables are available in your platform and if those can be useful for your purposes.